Most people know that corn turns into things like popcorn and tomatoes turn into products like ketchup. But what about other crops? Take this crop for example. It's green and yellow and grows in a pot. Any guesses of what it could be? It's a soybean! Soybeans are grown all throughout the U.S. and have many uses. But what are some of the uses? Commonly, people think of products like tofu and soy sauce, but soybeans can be used for things such as fuel and feed as well. Actually, most of the soybeans grown in the U.S. are used in animal feed production due to the high protein content in the soybean. The only downfall is that the animals cannot eat the beans themselves. There's an enzyme naturally produced by the bean called urease that can be harmful to animals if they consume them. This enzyme can be removed when the beans are sent to a feed mill facility and processed into soy milk. The beans can be turned into a variety of products, but some of the larger feed mill names in the country are familiar names like Cargill and Purdue. There are actually about 6,200 American feed mills across the country, and while there are many large-scale operations, there are still smaller family-owned operated mills. The one we talk about today is based out of Vincent, North Carolina, and is known as Mule City Specialty Feeds. Hello, my name is Paul Dunn. I'm the owner of Mule City Specialty Feeds here in Vincent, North Carolina. We produce all kinds of animal feed. We produce two products. We produce a protein meal and we separate the soybean oil. The reason we separate the soybean oil is most animal foods do not require that high fat in their diet and it would not be nutritious. Beans that are turned into bean meal, where the majority of it is used in the animal industry is more than 50% of it goes for growing poultry. The rest of it goes to making uh, pigs grow. Uh, pigs diet require about 15 to 20 percent soybean meal in their diet. Very little bit of it goes into the beef industry and to exotic animals. Here at Mule City Feeds we make all kinds of feeds for all kinds of animals. We make feed for horses, we make feed for chickens, we make feed for hogs, we make feeds for earthworms so fishermen will have something to fish with. We also do cricket feed. What else goes into these diets is corn, oats, wheat, barley, sunflower seeds, flax seeds. There are two ways to process soybeans normally. The mechanical chemical processing, it is termed crush because you will actually crush the bean into small miniature flakes that are just two or three cells thick. These are small thin flakes and they put hexane through it. Hexane is a chemical very similar to gasoline. When they steam it, it actually cooks the bean enough to, to destroy the trypsin inhibitor and the urease. And what we do here at Mule City Feed with the soybeans is we use an extruder and a mechanical press to process the beans. Um, it, this process was developed by farmers in Iowa in the 1960s and it is catching on worldwide now for communities that need a bean meal and don't have any way to ship it off to have it processed. And uh, we do it here because we like the quality of the product. We have total control over the product. And the first machine that you're seeing is called an extruder. It is essentially taking rooms from, uh, taking beans from room temperature to 300 degrees in 30 seconds. It is taking it from one atmosphere that we're in to 30 times that much pressure. It's like a volcano and uh, the material that comes out the end is 300 degrees, it is cooked. All the water has been driven out of it because water will not stay in something at 300 degrees. It boils off at 212 degrees. Then, once it is cooked, it goes through a machine that presses the excess oil out. And as you see the oil falling out of the machine, uh, that's essentially margarine. It's liquid margarine is what you're seeing, that yellow material coming out of that machine. Once it has been pressed and separated, the oil is put in the liquid tanks and it is uh, further refined or put in animal food. The bean meal is collected and put in the tanks to use in feed, depending on what the protein level of the feed will be. My dad started this business in the 1950s to serve farmers and make them successful growing their animals and make them grow efficiently. And I learned from that. I started working down here when I was 11 years old. I'm now 60 years old. I have been learning from my customers for the past 40 years what they wanted, and I figured out how to serve them. I have enjoyed making people happy growing their animals, but I've learned that as long as I make the customer happy, I've got a job. And it's worked for me and my 12 employees for 50 years.